So we're going to concentrate this session on tackling. There's two tackles. If a player's coming at me, we're going to use what's called the front, frontal tackle or the fencer tackle. If the, if the attacker beats you, you still have a chance, we're going to use the near hand tackle. So we'll do the frontal first of all, we're going to work on it. All right, so Indy twos quickly. First guy go. Take In this back. Space Invaders back. game, the coach uses a one versus one match-like activity to encourage and promote tackling players to perform the tackle at an appropriate range and use effective timing to increase the chances of dispossession due to efficient balance and stability. Come to the front of the box. Wait till he's to the front of the box before you take him on. There he is, away you go. The aim is for the attacking player to go past the defender, staying inside the channel in order to create scoring opportunities. Notice how the coach has used a long, narrow channel to give advantage to the tackling player. The condition of the long, narrow channel provides opportunities for the frontal fencer tackle to occur. You look on, you are the attacker, okay, and you're coming towards me. All right. During the bilateral movement of the fencer tackle, the defending player must organise feet and hands in the ready position, with a wide supporting base to aid the transfer of weight from front to back, and a quick smooth transition of the leading foot from left foot to the right foot in order to force the defender to make a decision. So could somebody suggest a better position for my feet? Is that okay? What about my hands? Way up. It's the hands we tackle with. The hands, what's my target when I'm tackling? The ball, the ball, okay? So if I'm going backwards, I'm down low, I've got a nice balance. Now if the attacker changes, what do I do with my feet? I change my feet. I change my feet. Okay, can you guys all spread out and face me? That's better, now go. The defending player must anticipate what the attacking player is going to do with the ball and therefore appropriately time when to try to dispossess the ball. Change his feet. Make him change. Hands up. Hands up. Okay, and stop. All right. No, you beat me. Okay. If unsuccessful in dispossessing the ball with the fencer tackle, the defending player is then encouraged to get alongside the attacking player to execute a near hand Walk tackle. There. On the hand you toe it, on the hand you toe it. There, hold that position. By stepping across, to take the opposing player's space, maintaining a low center of gravity, and using the same hand as the leading leg, providing a longer lever arm to reach and scoop the ball from the opposing player. What about my balance? Where's my feet? Are they shoulder width apart or slightly further apart? Why are they slightly further apart? To get better balance. Handy toe, good. Near leg in, good, excellent. Near leg in, that's brilliant. Near leg in, hit and rip, good. Get a ball each now. Let's watch. One, two, three. Excellent, excellent rip. Nearly an excellent rip. Okay. Timing is imperative in this activity, as the defending player must try to dispossess the ball while the attacker is taking a play off the ball. There, brilliant. Brilliant. As soon as he's coming, you, you're back the coach back. now progresses to this activity for the defender by removing the assisting defender in the channel. This creates more opportunities for the near hand tackle. Yeah, good, good. So go to meet him, go to meet him, go to meet him, and then backtrack quick, backtrack, backtrack. Now keep going, you keep going the straight line, keep going the straight line. Now go run with him, run with him, there it is. There it is, excellent. 